how to stop eating when you are not hungry. I had a woman sign up for her customized nutrition program from me about five years ago. And during her first week on the program, like most people do, she made the comment, this is so much food. I can hardly eat all this food. Uh, I'm so full all the time, which is a good thing, right? Because a lot of people have that, experience that their first week because their metabolism is so slow and the whole role and expectation of your program is to boost your metabolism. But she made the comment that she could barely even finish all of her meals. Poor thing. <laughs> Nobody's going to feel sorry for you if you lose weight and drop body fat with a full belly. But be that as it may, her second week, she made another comment. She said, I hate myself. I feel so discouraged. I just ate an entire plate of brownies. And I said, let me ask you a question. Were you hungry when you ate those brownies? And she said, no, that's the, that's the frustrating thing about it. I wasn't even hungry. And that ties into the topic of this video. How to stop eating when you're hungry. What would compel someone to eat when they're not even hungry? Not only eat, but eat a nasty, well, brownies do taste good. They don't taste nasty, but they're a filthy, sugary, uh, processed, refined sugar uh, junk food, all right? And to binge eat on them, an entire plate, what would cause that? You're not even hungry. Well, I already knew right away what caused it. Whenever someone is compelled to eat, especially high sugar, baked goods, it could be, it's usually ice cream, cookies, or, um, or some type of pastry, especially a high sugar food, they're compelled to eat that when they're not even hungry. That's a blazing red flag indicator that you are unfulfilled in other areas of your life. I know that's a tough pill to swallow, but it's the truth. And I'm gonna repeat that. Whenever you're compelled to eat junk food, to eat high sugar foods, when you're not even hungry, that indicates to me you are unfulfilled in other areas of your life. Your marriage is on the rocks. You're stressed out at work. You hate your mother-in-law. Um, your kid has some illness or disease or problem at school. Who knows? It could be a number of things. And when that happens, the, the, the step you've got to take, and you're not going to want to hear this, nobody likes to hear this, but you're going to have to seek professional help. See a psychologist, see a shrink, see a therapist, see a counselor. I, I don't, I don't, you know, you'll have to find out who to see. I don't know, I don't have any recommendations for individuals on that for you, but you're going to need to seek out professional help. Because until you handle the emotional aspect of the equation, it's going to handicap you in, uh, in your eating and nutrition. And don't let that kill you. I've known people that are slaves to food, specifically junk food. And uh, it, it's a very pernicious activity. So seek help, get help. And let me say this, never work with a shrink, counselor, therapist, or psychologist that ever tells you it's okay to eat junk food. That it's okay, and I've, I've had clients in the past that I've, I've said, you need to see uh, seek professional help. And they'll work with someone, and they'll come back and tell me the woman said, or the counselor said, they're usually women, um, that I should eat a, if I'm at an event or a party, I should go ahead and I should have a piece of chocolate, or I should have some cake, or I should have a cookie, that way I won't feel deprived. And my response to that is, you'll never feel deprived if you eat all your meals. If you eat all your meals, not only will you not feel deprived, You'll have a full belly. You'll have satiety. You'll have um, crushed cravings, reduced hunger. Eating chocolate or cookies um, is never going to profit you in any way, shape, or form. Eating ice cream will never improve your diet. Why not have more coconut oil, more wild salmon, uh, more avocado, more acorn squash, more sweet potatoes, more jasmine rice, more brown rice, more wild rice? Why not have more... Uh, quinoa, more oats, more lentils, more white beans, more pinto beans. Why not have more chicken breast, more ground turkey breast, more extra lean ground sirloin, more grass-fed beef. I think I already said wild salmon. Why not have more sea bass, more orange roughy? Why not have more shrimp, 
Why not have more asparagus? And the list goes on and on. There's plenty of healthy foods out there that when you eat the right combinations will offer way more satiety than a piece of chocolate ever will. So anytime a counselor or a shrink or, or a, a, a professional, quote unquote, in that area tells you if you're struggling with cravings and binge eating and emotional eatings, always, what they'll say is never deprive yourself. All right? And what that usually does is that it can usually spark a binge meal. All right? It actually has the opposite effect. It can trigger a binge eating meal. All right? Because once you cross the line of compromise, it's very difficult to turn back. Guys, if that relates to you, if you can relate, do me a favor, thumbs up, click the link below. And remember, don't ever let one bad meal beat you twice.